Welcome to Cutterland, where we honor adventurous level designers who are not afraid to cut the game components. You heard me just right. You get your scissors, cut the cards, shape your lands and fill them with mighty creatures, and I'm here to bring you up to speed. I have some raw material here, 160 nice cards. Each of you will receive three of these, and when it's your turn, you choose a card, cut it up into pieces, offer them all to the others and take the last piece for yourself. Now all of you have the first piece to start your land with. Then the next designer cuts their card up and offers the pieces to everyone again. Thus you will gradually be creating your own lands, but I need to tell you more about the creatures you'll be facing. The creatures are the meat of the matter, and yes, sometimes literally. They are all unique and require special handling. Say goblins. They are the easiest. They aggregate into groups, but if there are too many of them, they will start arguing. Centaurs like space. Let it gallop over a decent plane. The larger, the better. Dragons. <laughs> Those culprits will most definitely devour someone in your land, but it also seems that they are the last monogamous creatures, and it's good to have them in pairs. Turtles are fond of solitude. They don't want another turtle in the whole land. Well, they can deal with one, but two is turtly inappropriate. Next, oh, frogs. I like you, so here is a fine print disclaimer. I have no idea how these frogs slipped their way here, because they bring nothing but trouble. No worries, though. I have a solution. A kraken will devour all creatures around itself, so it's a nice chance to get rid of those ugly frogs and control other species. Well, that's almost it. Let me show you one of my recent accomplishments. You should see everything in action before you try your own hand. I have nine pieces in here, and the first thing to do is take three towers and three bunches of logs, which can be used either as walls or bridges. Let's see where I can use them. Krakens hunt first. This kraken is about to devour my only turtle. No, sir. Protecting with a tower and scoring ten points for it. The other Kraken will not eat my centaur and my goblin, but I'll serve him the frog and score two points for that. Dragons next. Oh, I have three of them in one area instead of two. Why don't I use my bridge and let the first Kraken have a treat? Now great, I have only two dragons and I score seven points for them, but they need to eat. Ah, another frog is smoked. And I'll use another bridge to get rid of the last frog. All of my goblins survived, and they are all in the same area, so I'll score 14 points for the first four goblins and two additional points for the fifth and sixth ones each. I have one unused log, and it's one point. My total is 44 points. Do you think you can beat me? Let's see. Become the best in Cutterland, a heroically acclaimed level designer's playground in a fantasy world, and don't let the fun fade with special recharge packs.